All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to get started in Tinkercad. Tinkerpad is a web-based application. So we are gonna to go to Google Chrome and we're gonna type Tinkercad in the search box and select Tinkercad. Now, you are going to be signing up. So you click sign up and I want you to create a personal account. And if you have a Google account or an Apple account you want to use, go for it. I'm going to show you how to use your school division account today. So we click sign up with email. And we're going to go Canada. And here's the really important part. Everybody's birthday is going to be January 1st, 2000. If you don't do this, you're going to get locked out. We click next. Type in your email. and create a password that has one letter, one number, eight characters, and at least three unique characters. Agree, and click Create Account. I'm gonna to go to Sign In, as I already have an account. Once you're signed in, first thing you're gonna do is make sure you go to Tinker 3D Design. You're gonna scroll down and keep going until you see this get started. And at the bottom here, we're gonna click more tutorials. And I want you to complete, place it, view it, move it, rotate it, size it, group it, copy it, duplicate it, hide it, align it, and creating holes. Then you're gonna stop on creating holes. After you've done that, you can then move on to the creating your name in Tinkercad. So when you click on place it, the nice thing about being a web-based application is it automatically saves. So you're going to see that mine will already be complete. So tutorial one, placing shapes, most common action. Cool. So let's start. And Tinkercad will load up. Now I've already completed a bunch of work here from earlier that it's saved. So I'm just going to actually delete everything. And so it says, welcome to Tinkercad. Tinkercad is used to build all sorts of creations by adding and removing shapes from the design workspace. Cool. So see the orange shape? Yep, that's a hint. Hints help guide you as you get started. Find the box shape in the shapes panel. Okay. Left click and drag it onto where the hint is in the work plane. Drop it. When finished, click on the work plane to deselect the box. So deselect, just click off. Continue to the next step. It's now showing you how to step it up. So the idea is we call this cruising, but essentially we can drag a shape on top of another one that already exists. So same thing, but we can drag it on top. Click on the grid or any empty space to deselect and hit next. When you see the stars or the confetti, you're done. And then you go to view it. View it shows you how to move in three dimensional space. So essentially you're just going along, following the guides in here. So this is gonna involve some reading on your part to show you how to zoom in, zoom out, right click will also rotate. And you're gonna just keep going until you've completed all of these. Once you're done, then you can move on to the making your name in Tinkercad video. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave it there.